Hey everyone, SK here. So today I've got a bit of a different video. Well, we've it is only for like 4 a.m. in my time, and I've already recorded this, but it the audio didn't fucking record for some reason. Stop recording again. Uh, there's the new dev the new dev update has just dropped. And for those who don't know, as a Ghostface main, there has been a lot of rumors around a Ghostface rework. And that's in this patch. And we're going to go through it. And basically, I'm going to give my own thoughts on it. Because I, I really can't wait, because I'm really excited for this. My, don't worry about my webcam, it's it's going up and down in brightness, I'm getting a new one. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, I'll, I'll go through the optimization part later, uh, or just to sum it up. Basically what it's saying is the patching is going to be much faster. It's going to be like 200% faster because they're re like they're redoing how they're going to be doing the chunks. But we're going to be having to do a large download to go into the mid-chapter patch. Uh, but either way, it's uh, I mean, it'll, it'll, it's a small thing that I'm sure would help out the game in the long run. Next up, up to the good part, Ghost Face update. So this one... Is okay. I was really worried they do something bad, but I really love what I see right now so far. And something I'm really excited about, uh, and I'll, I'll get into later though. So, to start off, we're increasing the duration with Ghostface marks up to 60 seconds from 45. This one, I, I feel honestly, I feel like that's not gonna affect too much, at least how I play and how most good Ghostfaces will play. Because I feel like most people would be 99 stalking and exposing. Uh, once they're competent, they'll get the down anyways. So I don't think that's going to affect too much. It's going to be, it's a nice change though. It's not going to affect too much. It'll be it's pretty welcome, I'd say. It'll help newer players as well, I, I think, at least. Uh, but anyways, mark down, mark survivors are no longer able to reveal Ghostface. So other survivors are able to reveal him, but uh, running on your own now becomes riskier. You have no choice but to evade him when he's undetectable. You know, I'd, I'd say that's a great change. I mean, it. one nice thing is it makes exposing people more of a... I guess it, it makes it have more use out of it than just, like, being able to one-shot down. A lot of the times I expose injured survivors and I'm just like, okay, what the fuck do I do now? Uh, and also, that would probably go hand-in-hand hand with the 60 seconds exposed increase. So, uh, yeah. Usually I 99 stalk injured survivors, so then when they heal up, they one shot down, but now I guess I still have, I it, I can have two uses, which is kind of nice. Uh, and I, I'd say it's a welcome change. Uh, Ghostface's add-ons, okay, this is the one that I'm most excited for, for those who don't know, Ghostface's add-ons, I think were the biggest issue he has with his power. Most of his add-ons were just like stat changes, like faster stalk movement speed, movement speed while stalking, which didn't really affect much because it slowed you down when stalking someone anyways. Uh, most of them just didn't do much at all. So I'm, I'm glad that they're swapping them and or changing them. And the one that I'm reading now, which I'm like, so, um, I mean, I'm very excited for, uh, it's this one. So drop leg knife sheath. So for this one, this was originally the uh, small face add-on, uh, the crash movement speed. I'm 99% sure. Uh, yeah, uh, rip, rip small face. But anyways, exposing a survivor, uh, gain, the ghost phase gains 10% movement speed for 5 seconds after marking a survivor. 10%, like, not, not crouch movement speed, 10% movement speed. And why I think that's fucking crazy, or like, why I'm so excited for that, for those who don't know, most people, well, if you if you see my stream, you'd know the main perk I bring with Ghostface, and one of the perks I think is the most underrated with him, and that is Plate the Food, because 5% increased movement speed. Uh, it's, it's really good on him, because it's like, think of it, like, Ghostface is a one-shot down killer, and also an M1 killer, uh, rather than, like, say, you're playing, like, Wraith, or no, uh, maybe, uh, oh, what's a good example, like, playing Clown, oh, no, uh, um, or just any M1 killer that can't one shot down, like think of it, like they're trying to, if they have three stacks of plate of food, uh, chasing fully killed one, I mean sure they can go very fast, but they hit them twice, once they're down, now they're down to one plate of food stack. Ghostface, he's a one shot down killer, one shot down them, two stacks, and if you can efficiently get your stacks back and sort of keep a like uh, flow and rhythm in a way where you can get stacks very quickly, you have much better map pressure, because he's a M1 killer with no map mobility. You have much better map pressure, and you can down people much faster, because you're better in chase. So I'd 
Comboing it with that, I think, is going to be fucking nuts. I am very excited for that. I don't know how it's going to play out. Might be too nuts. I'm very curious to see. But anyways, onto the next one, Olsen's Wallet. This one, whenever you break a pallet or wall, your Night Shroud really immediately recharges. I think that's a... Eh, it sounds, seems like a good change. Uh, good, it seems like a great add-on. It's going to be, like, definitely a lot more interesting than the cooldown ones, I think. A lot of people say the cooldown ones are, like, the best. I don't think the Ghost Face add-on cooldowns, were, like, the power cooldowns were very good at all, really. They were, like, now that they've made his cooldown 24 seconds... Uh, and they nerfed it accordingly. I like, I, I feel like cooldown add-ons are just a bit unnecessary currently. This one, I mean, this one seems pretty good though. You fuck up, and then you just got like your your night shroud back. It seems a bit scary though. I mean, I can think of uh, many things where it's like, it it might feel really shitty for the survivors. Where, say, like, you're exposed, you can't break him out of your power, but you stun him. He, like, that's the only way you can get him out of your power. You stun him, and he just breaks the power. And then he just gets his power back. I, I can see that being a bit annoying. But otherwise, I, I mean, I, it's not too crazy, I guess. Uh, he, he's he's not going to be like S tier from just like that alone or something. Literally amazing though. No complaints. That seems great. I'm really curious to see what the next ones are. And I'm going to be playing them live once the chapter releases. Uh, once that patches out. So stay tuned. Uh, Twitch.tv. SK underscore. Links below. Legion's update, so I have read this one, but I'll go through it again quickly. Uh, so, basically what they're doing is increase movement speed for every hit during Feral Frenzy. Now, I find that, like, I'm pretty sure that was the same suggestion that Scott Jun did in his, like, killer power suggestion thing. And, um, I mean, honestly, I think it's a really cool change. Uh, I think that's uh, great. I'm not sure how strong it's going to be, I guess. Uh, but the big one is also like the fifth hit with your frenzy is going to put the survivor into a dying state which i mean i think that's going to give him a lot more value i mean it's going to make him have a lot more use out of his frenzy and it makes it a lot more interesting than just like faster i mean being able to down people easily i think that can be pretty fun and also i mean i'm curious to see how play to feed combos with that as well just increase movement speed then gain four people i mean i can see that being pretty fun Next one, lowered the frenzy duration to three seconds from four. Uh, that I mean, it's it's a nice change. I think that'll be completely fine. Uh, but yeah, makes probably make him more satisfying to play. Make him a bit stronger. Uh, and they're changing the cold dirt, the add-ons that change it as well, so it's not going to be like comboing together, make it too strong. The add-ons they they don't really go into it too much, but I'm really curious to see what they do with that. And also they add uh, they have a new chase music, and I think it's really cool. I'll put it up. Yep, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> no she there. Frenzy Legion's frenzy has always. Well, I, I always thought Legion should have a chase music. I know a lot of people are upset that Ghostface didn't get it, but I, I, I'm cool with it. He's Legion deserved it more. Ghostface is a stealth killer. You're not going to hear his terror radius much, to be honest. Uh, still a shame, but I will. Hemorrhage rework. So this one, I mean, it's a great change. Hemorrhage is now going to have a use, other than just, like, blood on the floor uh, being, like, slightly more. So, yeah. Uh, this one, it's going to regress. Your healing progress is going to regress at 7% per second when you have that hemorrhage effect. I think that's going to be fucking great, and that's going to make like perks like a nurse's calling with sloppy a great combo, because like now I always thought a nurse's calling was sort of shit and really overrated, but now I guess it's like now if you see someone healing, you can cut off that heal, and if you had sloppy butcher as well, some like fuck dude, you combo that together, and it's like what can they do? And also yeah, it's going to be a definitely a hard nerf to like circle of healing and like slop like med kits and all that which have been one of the strongest things in my opinion uh for spiders i don't think toolboxes do shit really but yeah uh or well, like i don't think toolboxes are anywhere near in comparison to med kits i always thought med kits were the strongest item uh, even like when keys were a thing to be honest like I, <laughs> they've, they've they've always been there uh so i mean i can see some good combos with that killer rating so basically what they're going to be doing is the they're not going to have like a difficulty easy medium hard now it's going to be like uh mechanical skill strategic skill and uniqueness there's going to be different categories just to give people a better idea of like what 
like than a simple difficulty rating because uh, I guess it's 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 always hard to describe them in uh, just like one word I guess. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's a good choice. Haddonfield update. So this one, got a Haddonfield graphics to work. So all these pictures, we've already seen them. I don't think we've seen this one uh, but up here, but we've seen most of these. And, I mean, uh, if you haven't, we're going to show... Oh, you guys can take a look here. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I, I, the Haddonfield, at least how it was, was looking pretty shit. Uh, because, just because of the, all the lighting changes, I guess, it's like, the, the map looked pretty good when it released, but... Then when the game gets a lot brighter, because the map was, like, the game was very stealth-based originally, and it wasn't good for, like, chase and gameplay value, really. When the, when they made the map brighter to help with that, it's now yeah, just looked a lot worse. It's, uh, like, the light has shown a lot of its flaws. So, yeah, this new change, it looks, I mean, it's very spooky. Very, uh, I mean, I'm hoping for more, like, references to the film. Like, I mean, to make it, like... Maybe we can see like Bobby's pinned up Bobby pinned up uh, body on the wall, uh, just stuff like that from the movie. That I mean we haven't seen much of that, but that would be kind of nice. So we can see the Myers house here. We got the it's a room. We got the fun house or the house of pain, as uh, people like to call it. Yeah, I'm I'm curious to see if they make that. I mean I know it was pretty tough for killers, so like uh, I hope they make that a bit better for that, and hopefully we can. I Haddonfield like loses its bad name because a lot of people don't very like Haddonfield very much. Uh, maybe they can give some like Halloween nineteen eight seventy eight like stings like when you go into a room it goes like the like those like s those uh, synth noises as well. I would fucking love that. But yeah, that looks a like about it for this developer update at least. I I fucking love it. I'm really curious to see what they do with these add-ons for Ghostface. Uh, being a Ghostface me myself. And yeah, once again, we'll be playing this once it releases, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's about it. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe, follow my Twitch, YouTube. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to start this up. Uh, on YouTube, I don't really do YouTube too much, but I'm hoping to do more of So subscribe, hit that bell, and we'll see you guys soon.